I had so much still to live for, so much still to do. I grew up in a family of artists. I became an artist in turn. People say that in every great artist's life, there is always a special moment where they create something unique, something so remarkable that it will always be remembered. When I think back over all the cars we built, all the cars I have drawn, all the cars I have driven, for me, the greatest will always be the Atlantic. We only built four of these beautiful cars. The first belonged to Victor Rothschild, the second to Jacques Holschuh, and the third to Richard Pope. I remember each of them, each absolutely unequaled in the richness of their histories and the beauty of their lines. But I remember the fourth most of all, a masterpiece of sophistication and elegance, a breathtaking black sculpture created in aluminium, outstanding in every detail. I was so impressed by the gracefulness of this car that I kept it as my personal Atlantic, La Voiture Noire. There was so much left to do, but I never had the chance. In 1940, history took over. To snatch it from the jaws of war, my Atlantic was sent from Molsheim to Bordeaux. It never arrived and was never seen again. It lives on in myth as Bugatti's automotive amber room and still inspires people all over the world. I wish I could create another car like it, inspired by today's technologies, and build the ultimate graceful GT for today's world.